back into the, the closer quarter range where we can try and hit each other with the butt of the stick as well. Counter for counter, back out to long range. This gives you a very quick eye, a very fine-tuned sense of, of distance and range. This guy's going to flow. This is not a pre-range pattern. They're just going, just going for it, counter for counter. Going in and right back out. Thanks, Dan, and thanks, Chad. Tim scoops it out. Also technique, that would be painful. Negotiating position, as we so euphemistically call it. Again, coming in, scoops it out, cuts the hand, disarms the knife, and again, enough said. <laughs> again, cutting it out, taking with the other hands, and confrontation is ended. and they are boxing drills, but they are more Filipino boxing than Western. And they're coming back into tie four counts. They're going into the hand combination, into the round kick combinations, and then coming into the spinning with savat. So we mix the Thai boxing at the academy with Thai, we mix the Thai boxing and savat and the Filipino drills so we can try and be as well-rounded as we possibly can. Again, savat combination, savat combination, into a Thai combination, coming back into savat combination. Notice how these guys train cooperatively. Okay, they're beautiful. Nice spin, Chad. Again, comes in, Claude Damon, Bob and Weaves under, comes back on with the zone, the zone savat combination, point kicking, back into the boxing combination. Again, crescent kicking, coming back, sweeping across the leg. These guys are just, these guys are just flowing it. These guys are just know how to cooperate with each other and play it around. This is not a preset combination. Nice, Damon. Thank you, Chad. Okay. Shadow boxing with the double swords, Sinawali patterns. Okay. 
So this is to show Tim would be using combinations where he's thinking about double blade and he's watching, he's watching Tsuyoshi very closely. They're not just randomly throwing those things through the air, but Tim is thinking about cutting and, and countering countering Tsuyoshi, where it's while and Tsuyoshi is doing the same thing to Tim. So they're shadow boxing at long range to develop the eye. Okay, next man in. Now Yorinaga is, is would be shadow boxing. How would he do? He's thinking how would he do long and short or stick and dagger against the double sticks? They move it around until the next man comes in. Okay, and the next man comes in, grabs a single blade against blade and dagger. And Louis Campos is shadow boxing. He's watching very closely. And they're countering each other at long range so they can actually go at a closer to a real speed while being at a safe range for the sake of training. All right, nice. Next man in. Okay, and he comes in, he grabs a dagger. And Eric is thinking, well, if I have a dagger and Louis has a sword, and they're kind of long range. <laughs> and Eric is thinking about how he would counter Louis. Eric would be trying to go in. Louis would be trying to stay at long range to use the, the advantage of his weapon. Okay, and let's see who we got up here next. All right, double stick against dagger. Things look bad for our hero, Spaceman's Biff. <laughs> okay, and Chad blasts away. Eric's just looking for the opportunity to try and cut a hand and move in. Okay, again, there's shadow boxing, and Eric's looking to ways that he could try and get in. And Chad, being no dummy, he's going to try and keep himself at the long range. He feeds the kicks because Eric will know that any time a kick comes, he comes, he's going to try and cut away at that thing. And who do we have next to save the day? Why, it's Damon Caro. <laughs> and Damon's with a single stick, and he's trying to say how can he cut the rhythm to, with a single stick, cut the rhythm of Chad's double sticks. And he's very awkward. He's using double, triple strikes within a single range, trying to hit away at the sticks, hit away at the hands, anything that comes. Damon's trying to hit away at with Floretti movements. All right, now we have a very nasty looking dagger of Terry Tippy in one hand and a short press with the other. And Damon's trying, looking carefully, there, and Terry's using those two-handed patterns where Damon's trying to just blast away multiple, multiple impact strikes with one hand. Very nice. Okay, uh-oh. Bruce is Bruce is is, a, is running in. Is a, he's he's feeling frisky. He's had 15 cups of coffee, so he's with empty hands going to go against a dagger and a Chris. Okay, again he's looking for the he's looking for the kicks, trying to feint high and low. Okay, okay everybody, can you come up with the final shadow boxing segment? Okay, develop the grace, develop the imagination, develop the creativity. Where they take it and they try not to uh, slice each other into little little itty bitty pieces. They're going for the grace, trying to develop the finesse, the visualization. All the different weapons have similar characteristics, yet different characteristics. All right, bowing out, and salute. Thank you. This has been the Inasano Academy. Thank you for your attention.